Hello everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usability. Today we are on the way to see how to run Honkai Impact 3rd on PC, now you can watch it on your screen. It will be possible to efficiently download and install Honkai Impact 3rd so that we can enjoy playing your game on a Windows desktop or laptop using our keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So without further ado, let's go. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL that I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. You don't need to type the URL, because I provided the clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We arrived there on the website of Usability, at which we get a precise explanation on how you can download Honkai Impact 3rd on computer. We browse down a little bit and click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on this link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will use to get access to the game Honkai Impact 3rd on PC. It is now obvious that we have a great deal of pros of preferring the emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Honkai Impact 3rd by clicking on this button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do is to launch the installer, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the device. We clicked yes. I reduced the internet browser to view the installer better. The installer is very simple to use. It includes two possibilities, install, and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path really does. We basically click on it. Therefore we note that we have now here the path where the emulator can be set up. If we choose to modify this directory we need to click on the browse button, and therefore we pick another folder and install the emulator wherever we like. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. I simply click back. So I simply click install. Voila! The setup begins and it will progress with the download of those megabytes that are shown on that screen. As you save it on your computer, it is likely to be a little bit more or less MB. The data transfer rate will go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and according to the speed of the emulator servers. Today they are running superbly fast. The download is completed, and so at this time it proceeds with the setup phase. The setup will require more or less time according to the power of your PC, the more robust it actually is, the faster the installation time and or vice versa. If we add together the download and software installation step it might take a very long time, so be patient. It is already finished for me. At this point, the emulator happens to be launched automatically. As you will notice, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up so when it attains the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The fact is the emulator was already launched, here it is for the very first time. Before we carry on, as you can see now, it made two app icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be the one we are interested in. Each time we desire to launch Honkai Impact 3rd on our desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on this particular app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon is not about multiplayer or even anything like this, indeed, it is an icon that we may probably never ever work with. We should perform the following step, which is a must have, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. There we have to log on. At present as soon as we are here, we must definitely accomplish this next step which is obligatory. Therefore we click on, sign in. At this point it shows, checking info. It may sometimes get stopped at, checking info, and this isn't going to move ahead. If that's the case, you could try to log in in after a number of hours and it'll quite likely be repaired. At this point we're going to type in our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you can use the very same email address you're using right now in your own YouTube account. Then I will provide my details and I'll come back immediately after I have done it. That's all, details inserted. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We will agree to them simply by clicking on, I agree. After that, it makes it possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can keep it checked it's going to produce a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. Google Play Store is launched automatically and automatically. To set up the app game, we have got to visit the emulator desktop by clicking this icon designated green colored. Today that we are watching the desktop of this emulator, we can see that we now have right here the install video game button. We just click on the button. Right here we have got the video game. So let's mouse click here on the install link that I am displaying now in green. Therefore it will commence the setup. Now it is going to download on your PC and set up the video game. It usually takes some time or it may be very quick. That all is dependent upon on our connection to the internet. This has just completed setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing that button I'm highlighting in green, so that you can run Honkai Impact 3rd for the first time. Shall we simply click on that my games option just above. We're now on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are on the way to simply click on that new Honkai Impact 3rd icon that's been created. This video game is launched for the very first time. So there we have it, I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. 
I should discuss the volume level of the emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this way we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of this emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we can activate the big screen, for which we have two options. That is actually the first one, we click on that icon which I'm mentioning in green. Then the monitor is maximized, coming with one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Supposing that we wish to experience the game using all the screen, we click this particular app icon. And therefore we would likely by now be enjoying the Android game in full screen setting. To leave the full screen mode, push the F11 key. And therefore we would probably at present be in standard screen setting. At this moment I am choosing to present you the keyboard mapping and that is actually quite exciting. This means we will certainly be able to make use of the game app a lot more easily. The very first task is to mouse click this app icon. It's now time to get the necessary controls. I will put the default configuration, but if you prefer to change that, you can easily do so without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. Sometimes it occurs that the emulator is started in the incorrect language, as an example, in Chinese language. Then to place it in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. Then there inside of other controls, we simply click on the language drop down. We should opt for the language we like, Spanish, Chinese, etc. After the language is decided, we could save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the Android game, the next time we use it, will also be in the specified language. At present, there's another element that we must take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email indicating that a brand new machine has been connected to our own Google account. It will certainly check with us if we are the people who have associated with that electronic device. Of course, we really should not be troubled, because the emulator is behaving like an Android electronic device. And then to find which electronic device is being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. So we go here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for this tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, specifically that you found it helpful. If that's the case, give it a nice thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and any remarks, requests or ideas, let them in the comment area down below. You can also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I do live streams every once in a while, you have it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Check out any of these instructional videos which are usually appearing on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye.